What's good gamers around the world, it's Pantukesh from Game Spoiler back again with a review for you all out there. World Rally Championship 6 is the call. Before we start off, I suggest you guys to please like this video and subscribe to Game Spoiler for more upcoming content. So as you all know, I'm a huge racing game fan and I was looking for new games out this month and the trailer of WRC 6 boosted it up that I should get the game. But while getting the game, special thanks to the team of WRC 6 for providing me a review copy of the video game. So as you all know, I'm new to this series of WRC, so a little background first. WRC 1, 2, 3 and 4 are totally out of point here. But WRC 5 was developed by French firm Clayton Games Studio, who now specializes in racing games and WRC 6 is also on them. So folks, first of all, this review may sound more like a comparison between WRC 5 and WRC 6, but in the end, all we wanna hear is whether WRC is better or not. Anyways, as said, like I'm a big fan of racing games, and especially played NFS and all of them because they were the bomb back in my days. I started WRC 6 and I took a test drive, and it has some issues. Issues like driving the car and turning on the edges like all of us experience in every racing game. First I thought maybe the game is buggy AF, or maybe the game is tough, but after a few tries on the test drive, I realized that nope, this game is not buggy nor tough because WRC 6 actually pushes you to the limits like it's real. Like, if you guys play NFS a lot, if you play WRC after NFS, you would laugh at NFS and you'll feel like NFS does not have any physics in them. I'm not exaggerating, seriously, it's like you're driving in real life, dude. It's the real deal. WRC 6 has nailed it. Well, let's talk about the graphics. Some of you will be surprised by just how good WRC looks. On the other hand, we have the environments which range from snowy mountains to the dusty tracks of El Mexico. There are a total of 65 courses, with each one taking between 5 and 9 minutes to complete, if you don't crash a lot, like I do. The most importantly, WRC 6 features all the official WRC drivers and teams, which is a great thing. One thing which I noticed, or you could say that annoyed the heck out of me, was the dummies around the tracks. I mean, look at those things. Those things are fake as jersey, sure. I mean, it's not meant to be look real, but the racing game, you know, when you enhanced in many things, like from WRC 5 to WRC 6, this thing was too important in my opinion. WRC 5 was limited. In terms of racing games, WRC 5 was actually fun for some, but had several lagging issues that left the room for improvement, like the graphics were dated, the handling was simplistic, and the stages were unrealistically wide, like you could play baseball on the roads. This time WRC 6 has more realistic graphics, narrow stages or tracks, steering is more user friendly and it's pretty simple which is best for the game. I kinda sounded like an idiot narrator from a cheesy game show that was taking place in 80s but if you guys want me to explain WRC 6 in one word I would say realistic, if in two words then ultra realistic. In terms of buying or not, then you should get it. If you really want to taste a feel of a real racer for sources, I would give it an 8 out of 10 due to improved graphics, realistic narrow tracks, user-friendly steering, finally physics. So guys, tell me what do you think about the game in the comment section below. Right now, you must be seeing two images on the screen. On left in my recent review, on right is my daily story. Go ahead, check him out like you will. Cage out!